Hello everyone, um, it's me again, it's your fucking best friend, Beats by Jojo. I don't know, best best friend? I don't know what you would say to that. But welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, or night, wherever you're from. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be doing a tier list. Hold on a second though, I'm doing a fashion tier list. Yes, you heard correctly, a fashion tier list. And for you people who say put, stuff, put your jokes in the start of your videos by the way this video isn't a joke this is actually my actual personal opinions on the fashion in frona now i may not be the best fashion guru like I'm, i don't work with gucci i don't work with louis vuitton i don't work for giorgio Armani. i don't work for i think it's prada i don't know what it's called i don't work for supreme or any of those companies so i'm sorry that if my fashion sense for a video game is not up to louis vuitton or gucci standards i am sorry my personal opinion, if you don't like it, just don't watch it, simple as that. Some of you guys may not like it, some of you guys will, um, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get into it. Um, yeah, let's, let's go. So I'm not going to go through all the fashion, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and like scroll through all the fashion, all that kind of stuff. I'm literally just going to click on the character and like this, explain, and get on with our day. So obviously the first stop is Warden. Um, I actually really like Warden's outfits a lot. He has some nice like armor sets and like um helmets his helmets are especially really good i like his helmets i would have to rate warden a tier for fashion next is conqueror and i personally don't really know much about conquerors honestly like their fashion sense and all that kind of stuff i just go by what i see and it's usually the same thing usually with conquerors um so for conqueror i'm gonna go b tier with conqueror i do like his shields he has some pretty cool shields next is lawbringer by the way, don't mind the customizations. I'm still trying to figure out what I want for this character. I actually really, really love um, Lordbringer's um, fashion. He's got some like really nice armor. I'm really glad that they're bringing some capes for him. He looks badass. I like his fucking pole arm. Some of the stuff you put on that is really nice. So I'm going to give Warden S tier. Gladiator. Now, Gladiator is is sim similar to Conk in a way. I'm always seeing the same thing with Gladiator. They usually rock that lion helmet or something like that that's what i mostly see i'm gonna have to go with b tier for a gladiator next is my boy my rep 70 boy centurion in my opinion has some of the if not some of the best armor and weapon sets in the game he has some of the best masks in the game he also has a cape which makes him extra badass so with centurion i'm gonna go s tier for centurion i really like that the white iron and the gold it really suits him in my personal opinion the black iron material is just heavily used so it's like it's a bit boring next hero and probably gonna be the next next hero i play is black prior now i actually really really like black prior black prior for me would have to be on par with warden though but um i do like um black prior's fashion i do really like it he's not on par with centurion or lawbringer personally just because he doesn't have as much as centurion and lawbringer but he still has some really nice stuff especially his shields his shields are really nice so for black prior it's going to be a tier for me now we move on to raider now personally i don't really like raider's clothing um he has some pretty nice weapon sets and all that kind of stuff but i personally dislike the armor i'll give him the benefit of the doubt and i'll go with c tier for raider berserker is next and I, I don't know much about berserker to be honest i'm not really a fashion guru when it comes to the vikings the knights i can kind of knights are like have some of the best um fashion in this game in my personal opinion the knights do so i'm not really big on the vikings fashion is doesn't it's just i don't know it's not really big on it um he's got some she he, he they have some really nice weapons as you can see they've got gold um i personally dislike how berserk has no shoes i personally like how when she has shoes this was an old old um outfit so for right so for berserker i'm gonna give berserker c tier all right thunder thighs big man highlander um highlander has some of the I, th I reckon Highland has some of the really the best looking stuff for the back then times, if you know what I mean. Like, he's a Scottish man. He's got like the fucking Scottish look to him. And I really like that about him. There's only like one face, ma face, um, thing that I do like, and it's this one that I'm rocking right now. He has some nice fucking um, like his 
Uh, sword sets are really nice. It's claymore, I guess you could say. I think it's a claymore. Don't judge me. His weapon sets are really nice. I like it. I like it. Once again, he has to be C tier for me. Yormaganda. Straight up B tier. I reckon Yormaganda. Out of all of them, he has some of the best armor for me personally. And he has also some of the best unique weapon sets as well. He's the only B He's the only B tier out of the Viking. We have my Assassin main, Shaman. Um, Shaman has some pretty nice weapon sets. Um, I've seen some pretty beast Shamans out there. They have some really nice um, like outfits, stuff that you can really customize your outfits really good if you take the time to do it. But once again, I personally just don't see her stuff as better as Jorm. But still pretty good. Probably my second favorite um, fashion out of the Vikings. Besides Jorm and Gunner, he's the first one. So Shaman gets a solid C tier. Valkyrie is next and Valkyrie is D tier for me. Um, most of the time I just see the same stuff just like the others as well. But at least with the others it's more unique in a way. Whereas Valkyrie doesn't seem unique to me personally. WWE wrestler Warlord is next. And um, once again he is C tier as well. Most of the, like I said, my, my, most of the Vikings... RC tier with the exception of Yorm who's B tier and Valkyrie who is D. I see the same Warlords every now and then and it's just boring to me but every now and then you see some like, unique Warlord but it just doesn't it's not like whoa that's cool nothing like that so so Kensei is up and I'm gonna have to give Kensei a solid B tier for or not B tier you know what actually no B tier for Kensei he's got some really cool um um pieces and swords helmets are a little bit off like the new helmets were really iffy, iffy for me orochi's d tier for me um <laughs> i don't really see any unique orochis out there um the fashion is all, always the same there's nothing really going for orochi shinobi is this the same d tier for me for shinobi i don't know much about shinobi's outfits because i rarely see them but usually i see like the scorpion looking shinobis that's probably the most that i see and the only ones i have seen hitakuri now hitakuri for me would be c tier for fashion wise she is a brand new character so she doesn't have much to her at the moment but with what she has you can make some really nice looking hitakuris most of them are quite similar in a way but i have seen some unique and different ones before big man shigoki once again he is c tier for me um, I don't really know much about Shigoki's. Um, they all rock the same stuff nowadays because of the new outfits that came out. I'm actually going to bump Shigoki up to B tier. I just realized that he has that one outfit for him where he shows his chest and he's got that big beard and that anime hair. It looks pretty good. It suits it suits Shigoki. Nabushi. Um, oh man, Nabushi's, Nabushi's is kind of hard. I don't really see many Nabushis around much. And if it is a Nabushi, it's usually a low-level Nabushi. I'm going to go C tier for Nabushi. I don't know. I don't... She, Nabushi is very hard for me. She's probably one of the hardest ones out of all of them. Her and Valkyrie. All right. Some of you guys may not agree with me, and that's completely fine. But Aramusha, for me personally, I've seen some really nice Aramushas out there. Um, actually, A tiers for Aramusha for his fashion. Out of all the Samurais, in my personal opinion... He has some of the nicest customizations. The final faction, Wu Lin, started with Tiandi. Um, Tiandi's Re's, um, got some new armor as well. So that was really cool. So he was a C tier for me without the new armor. But with the new, he's bumped up to B tier. Um, I have seen some, really, like, like Aramusha, I've seen some really nice Tiandi's out there. But I personally just like Aramusha's just a tiny bit more than Tiandi's personally. But Tiani still has some solid outfit. Nushia, uh, Nushia, man, I don't know. Don't vibe with, T with Nushia, so it's gonna be D tier. I don't. I have seen some like nice ones, but they just, they just, I don't know. Just all right. Sanhu is one of the new characters that recently came out. There's gonna be two new ones coming out this year, so yay. But Zanhu for me is definitely on par with Eremush when it comes to style. I really like Zanhu's outfits more than Tiani's. Once again, personal opinion. So, Zanhu gets A tier, and out of all the characters in Wulin, Zanhu has the best customizations for the Wulin. JJ, I don't really know about JJ. I'm going to go C tier with JJ. I don't really have much to say about Jang Jun. He's kind of a weird character as well. The same with the other three. Like I said, Nushio, Valkyrie, and Nabushi. JJ is the other one that I'm kind of struggling with when it comes to the fashion sense. 
but um not, not bad i've seen some pretty nice jjs but just nothing that stands out the last hero we have is shaolin and once again a lot of c tiers in this one um shaolin is c tier for me nothing really vibes with him like i've seen some nice shaolins but nothing that stands out well guys that's gonna do it for the video i do hope you guys enjoyed that once again guys these are my personal opinions don't go to the comment section attacking me I hope you guys enjoy the video i'll see you guys in the next one keep your head held high and i'll talk to you later peace out everyone